Hey folks, Quill18 here. Earlier this month, I made a game in 48 hours as part of a Ludum Dare competition. And it was a lot of fun, and a big part of it is because I was live streaming the whole thing, and tons of people from our community came out and watched me do that, but more importantly, provided tons of ideas and beta testing and, and inspiration and, and like specific features that, that we ended up adding to the game. In fact, the entire story of the game was, um, was the idea of one of the viewers, uh, the dates. I uh, came up with the core concept that the whole game was. Now, because of the competition, I had to be the only person making it, but ever since then I've been thinking, why don't we, as a community, make a game? We love games, we could make a kick-ass game! We've got people with a variety of talents, we've got programmers or people who want to be programmers, uh, we've got people who can do some art, especially, you know, like, you know, we don't need fancy schmancy art we need you know just some art and some people can do that uh we've, we can be, get people to make sounds but more importantly we've got people with really great ideas and we need ideas whether it's it's the concept of the game itself or whether it's coming up with i, I don't know a, a really cool monster um you know, you put it together, and that you put together the, the the core concept of the monster, and and what what the monster should do, and then someone maybe draws some art for it, and someone maybe implements it in the program or something like that. This sort of thing is really, really achievable. Um, I mean, there there are tons of open source games out there um, that are are being developed, and it, it certainly worked in the past. But one of the advantages that we have even above those people is we already have a cohesive community. We have sort of a, a central point. Um, where we can all meet and we can put up, you know, I can make little flash videos or uh, little YouTube videos from time to time talking about our progress and trying to pull more people into the project. I really think there's a lot of potential there. And the nice thing is, these days it's so easy to do all this online and for free. Um, I did my game in Unity 3D, but I don't think we want to go in that direction because it's actually a little hard to collaborate uh, in Unity 3D with version control and stuff like that uh, in the free version and also the problem with making a 3D game while it sounds kind of you know very cool the art for it is is sort of a, a step above in terms of how much work you've got to do to make basic art assets um, and the programming is a tiny bit more complicated as well because of the three-dimensional stuff um, and, 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 and other little things like that I don't think Unity 3D is the way to go I think what may be the best way to go is building something in pure like Flash, Action Script 3. Because, I mean, the Flash is everywhere on the web. It's very accessible. It makes a lot of sense with a web-based community that we do something in Flash. And it all it's also totally free to develop in. While you can spend a lot of money getting the official Flash stuff from Adobe, there are free alternatives, including from Adobe itself, especially if you're a student and things like that. But what I would recommend checking out is... Flash Develop. FlashDevelop.org is an absolutely free open source uh, ID integrated development editor environment uh, for Flash. Um, it is a beautiful GUI to work with, just wonderful code completion, and all the great features that you really, really want. It e even integrates with uh, with source control, which which we'll talk about very shortly. Um, and yet it is free, it can tie into Flex, it can tie into all kinds of things that, that we might want to use. Um, the default download is Windows, but I'm pretty sure it has a Mac version or, or something, uh, even if not. So if you're on the Mac, you may be forced to look into uh, going through like a virtual PC type setup, a VMware type setup, or um, maybe you'd use Flash Builder instead, which is the, the Adobe version, um, which is free if you're a student, apparently, I, I don't know. Um, and otherwise it might be, it, it's probably, well, it is commercial. Uh, whether there's another way to get it free, I don't know. But um, Flash Develop, free, open source, and works beautifully. I actually prefer to program on my Mac. Generally speaking, my, my Mac is my like work machine, but Flash Develop is so good. If there's not a Mac version, I've got to investigate here. I, I may just do this all on PC, which is to me is, is crazy talk. Um, but it is that good and worth checking out. Um, we can we can program in pure Action Script three, or we might want to use some sort of library like Flash Punk. Flash Punk is just a series of, of libraries for Flash. You just drop drop into your 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 Flash Develop project, and it automates a lot of the things sort of for sprite control and loading a, of assets and, and just little things like that. Game world camera views. Um, it makes certain things a little easier. Another option would be something called Flixel. Um, Flixel, another very very uh, 
commonly used thing. Both Flash Punk and Flixel are very common to use. And again, they just sort of automate a few things for us. We could look into Box 2D if we want some like kind of physics-y thing. Uh, there's a great library to get started with that. Here's a ragdoll example, or just you can see the objects bounce into each other. And there's support for these things. Um, in, well, there's there's not direct support for this in, in anything, but there's a there's um, a glue library between Flashpunk and Box 2D that makes everything behave very very well together. Um, in terms of art, like if we are looking at pixel art, you just grab something like Paint.net, and then you can you can draw all your sprites and everything. Um, this is the sort of thing. If you watched Notch's live stream of him doing Let Him There, this is basically the way he was working. Um, so all these things are totally available, totally free. And then finally, for bringing everything together, we can use GitHub, um, which is extraordinarily popular. So what, if you're not a programmer, and even if you are a programmer, but you haven't really done a lot of like big sort of enterprise level or, or, or collaborative works, um, the problem always comes up, how do you get multiple people to work on your code and then glue it back together without overwriting what each person has done? And the answer to that is using a source control system or a version control system. And Git is one of the most popular and, and great ones. I've used a variety of them, but I'm really into Git these days. And most uh, many people are because it's just it works very well. Um, and so and there's this website called GitHub, which allows you you host your project on there. So you're up, you're uploading your code there. Everyone syncs through there, and you can get a uh, running log of all the changes that have made. You can accept changes. You can decline changes. You can sort of micromanage all that stuff. You can bring in your art assets and things in here as well. And the best thing is, if it if it's an open source project, it is completely free. Um, you can have as many projects as you want. You can have as many people working on the project as you want. If it's open source completely 100% free and I think that's the way we'd want to go for the project I mean we could close source it um, and then think about you know making money on it at some point in the future but the problem is how do you how do you involve you know hopefully I'm hoping dozens of people in a project and then work that, those details out over the internet no I think pure open source is the way to go um, you know, it doesn't mean we can't make plans for the future about oh we, maybe we could include it on on Steam at some point and then donate money to charity Right or, or something like that, something to consider. But I think I think I'm getting ahead of ourselves here. Um, I think this is something we could do, and I think it would be really awesome. And the first thing we need is a game idea. So I'm going to start a discussion thread over on TowerDive.com. Go to the forums. I'm going to make I think a new forum for this. Um, maybe I'll come up with some sort of code name for the project, but it, 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 just just so that we can sort of couch the discussion within a certain realm. But at some point we need to come up with the idea of what the game should be, uh, confirm maybe what tools we want to use to program it. Maybe we don't want to do it in Flash. Maybe people would rather we do it in, in Java or C++ or well, that would be a bad idea. I mean, we want something that is um, multi-platform proper probably and ideally can run in a browser I think would be very very nice now flash you can do that via an applet or uh, Java you can do that with via an applet flash of course and you can do standalone flash things so you can release it as a um, using like air or whatever Adobe air something like that I don't know but you can make a standalone game that was actually made in flash in the first place um, it, it's totally possible but of course you may as well just make it web-based I really like that sort of thing even in unity one of the reasons I like it is because it's got a plug-in for the web um, anyway that is it. Um, yeah, go to Tower Dive. I'm gonna make a post talking about what I think the game, I the the, the core, or or one of the the types of games that we might want to look at. And um, I'm kind of stumbling over here. Sorry. I, I'm gonna suggest maybe we make a roguelike. That's gonna be my, my suggestion. I'm certainly not logged into that, locked into that, but I think it would be a really good project for the sort of wide variety of skills we have because roguelikes. Um, have a lot of different like items and effects and monsters with unique abilities and I think it would give uh, opportunity for non-programmers to to contribute a lot but um, it's not the only way to go about it I mean maybe we even want to make puzzle games um, I don't know let's 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 have a discussion we need we're got, we have to talk about the project a fair bit before we start because we want to make sure we're going in the right direction. It's got to be something that a lot of people can work on very well and can continue to be expanded in the future. Um, you know, more features, more, again, if it's an RPG, more classes, more spells, more monster type, more level type. Um, but, you know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, an arcade shooter. 
Um, maybe it's a shoot 'em up game, like one of those like flying games where you're shooting things. Then there's still a lot of opportunity for people to make levels and different monster types. And maybe you can maybe while you do these missions, you gain money and you can upgrade your ship to have better guns or something like that. And those are all things people can invent. Anyway, uh, come join the discussion. TowerDive.com. See you next time, folks.